Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about creating print-ready PDF files in Adobe Illustrator. PDF files are the print standard files, so anytime you have a file in Illustrator and you save it, this is going to be saved as an AI file, and that's not the file that you send to the print shop. You need to create a print-ready PDF file. Um, in order to do that, you need to check a few things, and um, I'm going to go over those. First and foremost, you need to have your bleeds set up. We do have the bleeds set up here, and um, make sure everything that touches the edge of uh, an artboard is stretched properly all the way to the bleed lines. Uh, make sure you have proper margins set up, which we did for this project. Uh, there's plenty of space from all these elements to the edge. And also, you need to make sure all the text is outlined. What that means is, if I send this file to uh, to a print shop, they might not be able to open this properly due to a missing font. Just because I have the font in this um, computer, it doesn't mean that all print shops have those fonts as well. So you need to right-click on every single text box you have, and then create outlines. When you do so, it converts the text to vector graphics, so it's not being treated as a font anymore. When you do all that, then you need to go to File, Save a Copy, and here where it says Save Type, you need to go to Adobe PDF click Save, uh, you will see this um, PDF window. If there are a few things to go over here. Um, let's go to this drop-down menu. There are a few file presets. You only need to know of three of them. Uh, the first one, High Quality Print, is basically to print on laser print machines. So if that's the print machine you're going to be using or print shop is going to be using then choose this um, file preset. If you want to send this uh, project to offset printing then you need to go for press quality. The last item, small file size, is only to send a proof PDF email to a client. So that's not a print quality. The other ones here are previous old versions of PDF files just in case you want to send a file to a client and they cannot open and preview your file these are the ones you go for but for print purposes all you need to do is to choose high quality print or if you're sending it to the offset print then you choose press quality I'm gonna stick with high quality print uh, a few items to go over here uh, preserve Illustrator editing capabilities is checked. Embed page thumbnails, I don't really need that. Optimize for fast web is good. A view PDF after saving, that's a really good thing to have checked as well. So, three out of four. Next thing we're going to check on is to go to marks and bleeds. And I'm going to click on all printers marks to have all these four items. So, we would like to have trim marks registration marks, color bars, and page information. I will check that. Uh, I will show it to you when uh, it's all done. Uh, for bleeds, our document has bleeds, so I'm going to click Use Document Bleed Settings. If you didn't have those, this is another last uh, warning that you can actually add them here. All you need to do here now is to click on Save PDF. And there you go. We get the preview of it. So we have four different documents. Let's zoom out. This is the front, back of the business card, the letterhead, and the envelope. So let's go over this. Uh, the color bars are here on the left and right, and the bottom part of the um, artboard. So what they do is they're outside of the artboard zone, of obviously, so they're not going to be printed. Uh, but they will be helping the print shop to calibrate their colors. 
uh, the trim marks allow them to cut and trim around the edges of this artboard and the registration marks allow the registration plates to line up pro properly in the print process. So this is how to create a print ready file um, optimized PDF file for uh, print purposes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.